Well, the day is finally here. Uh, today's supposed to be the big day of this giant update coming out for World War II, and obviously it's not here for PC. And it's extremely unfortunate because I was really looking forward to this update. Granted, I was I expecting that it was going to like completely fix the game and, uh, I don't know, like bring back all the population to it? No, obviously not. But certainly though, nonetheless, this is an absolutely giant update to World War II. Like, they are essentially though just completely revamping the entire game. So earlier this morning though, I was watching Nero Cinema's video, which I'll go ahead and link in the description below. On top of all of these massive updates, that are coming out with the game, which for those of you guys that aren't familiar with them. Essentially what they've done now is they've completely revamped the entire game. Once again, a whole bunch of weapon balance changes. They're changing up a lot of the basic trainings, getting rid of some basic trainings. This update's already gone live on PS4 and Xbox One, so you guys have probably already heard about it or certainly will hear about it from the Call of Duty YouTubers you watch. And it's just extremely frustrating because as I was coming home this morning, this dude's using an iron sight car, God bless your soul. So as I was on my way home this morning, I was excited to play the update. Then I see Charlie Intel's tweet, oh, but the PC update is isn't coming out till next week. So that's fantastic. I guess we're just left in the dust again. So going back to what I was saying though, in Nero's video, he had pointed out the fact that they've added new weapons to the game. I think there's supposed to be a couple like uh, new submachine guns, a Japanese submachine gun, and they added in the Arasaka. And the thing of it is though, as of right now, it's in this like challenge thing, and I'm assuming it's going to be for this uh, war machine event for the DLC, but it hasn't gone live yet as far as I know. I have no idea when this event is supposed to go live. I I'm hoping soon. I'm hoping it's all on the same day <laughs> across all platforms. So like hopefully like like if this event goes live next week on the 17th, it'll make the most sense. Because quite honestly though, I really don't want to be in a situation to where like you guys have already seen all like the new Arasaka gameplay, like oh, new sniper gameplay, World War II. The one thing that they really do need to add to this game is ground war, but that's besides the point. Oh, but Mike, it's not even going to matter on PC anyway, because PC's so dead. And no, not entirely. I'll talk more about that later though. That, uh, that would have been really, really bad. So as I was saying, though, I just really don't want there to be a situation to where, like, all of you guys have already seen, like, all the new Arasaka gameplay. Heavily. Oh my god, I forgot how fucking slow the Springfield is. And then it gets to the point, again, one week later to where myself and all the other PC players finally get to use it. It's just going to be extremely awkward, because, like, a week later, I'll be like, oh yeah, sick new Arasaka gameplay, and then it's like, no, I'm like, we've already seen this. And still, though, like I was saying earlier, I mean, I guess I really shouldn't be all that surprised that PC was left behind. But it's still just equally as frustrating, because I'm just like, yo, I, I mean, come on, Activision. There's people that play the game on PC, I know the population is nowhere near as significant as the console population, or at least numbers-wise. And this also ties into what I also wanted to talk about as far as, like, population goes on this game. Truthfully, though, this game on PC really isn't all that dead. Some people in comparison might find 7,000, hold on, there's a lineup over here. Some people in comparison, though, might find, like, 7,000 people playing on PC in the last 24 hours, according to Steam charts, compared to the hundreds, thousands of people that still play the game on consoles. To go ahead and put this into perspective for you guys, I was checking out Steam charts earlier, and earlier this afternoon, I saw that there was about 4,500, near 5,000 people playing this game on PC. And this game's been out for, what, five, six months going on at this point in time? So, again, nearly 5,000 players in the last 24 hours on World War II, and the all-time peak players for PC MWR was 6,000. I mean, I'm just comparing it to Modern Warfare Remastered because, you know, it's me. And on top of that, as far as I know, the all-time peak players for World War II PC was like 56,000, which is pretty cool. The game was extremely populated. Now, obviously, the game just dies out because people get bored of it. It's also another reason as to why people are calling this game dead when in reality, I mean, like, statistically, no, the game's not dead. It's still just equally as frustrating because I personally don't understand why these updates can't come out across all platforms at the same time. I'm just really not understanding why that can't be the case, but whatever. Oh man, I'm fucking insane. The Springfield is so ungodly slow, but it's still so nice. Which also, on a completely different side note though, I know people are going to make the comparison like, ah, oh, World War II is dead. Coming from like the sniper's perspective, like somebody like me, ah, oh, the game's dead because they keep fucking with the snipers. Which honestly, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and agree with that. It just, it wasn't necessary. So you know, once again though, people will simply call the game dead just because they don't really like the updates to the game or they've just gotten bored of the game. Especially with what's going on right now, like how Fortnite, like everybody is all over Fortnite. Fortnite's the new COD killer, blah, blah, blah. It's, no, they're two completely different games and people are just bored of it. It being Call of Duty right now, just because World War II is a very bland game and they fucked up a lot as far as, like, variety goes. See, in my personal opinion, though, I genuinely enjoy World War II. I would play it and upload it a lot more if people genuinely enjoyed the game like I did. And I've seen this a lot, though. I've seen a lot of comments like, Mike, just upload what you want. And realistically, though, I do. See, also, now I'm not saying that I'd be sitting here uploading, like, World War II and Modern Warfare Remastered all the time, but I mean, I enjoy multi-cut. I enjoy playing a lot of games. That's why you guys see the variety on my channel that you do. But still, with World War II being the Call of Duty in its prime right now, I really just do wish that people just enjoyed the game the same way that I do, but, you know, obviously we all have different opinions. 
That was a little unnecessary. But still, though, at the end of it all, in my opinion, World War II, it's not dead. It's not a bad game. It's actually one of the better Call of Duties to come out as of recent. Honestly, though, I think if the game had more map variety from the beginning, uh, I think this game would have been perfectly fine. And really what I mean by that is a lot more people would have stayed on it for a much longer time. Oh my, yo, I was gonna say, if I just got mortared off getting the last kill, I was gonna be so mad. Quad feed, please! See, so, you now, I know I missed a triple in a very basic derail spot yesterday, but that quad feed, though, yeah, now that would have definitely been the closer to Kenny's Montage challenge. That was... Fuck! Ugh. Yep, I was looking right at their spawn, just the fire rate. It was so unnecessary for the Springfield. So now going back to what I was saying much earlier in the video, yeah, like as far as like the whole sniper standpoint on everything, as far as them killing the snipers kind of killed the game for them, it, yeah, it's completely understandable. I mean, like the snipers are still usable in this game. I mean, like they're still fun to use, but definitely in situations like that, like that half second switch that they did, it's just, mm, it's just those small millisecond changes in the updates. For example, on paper, like, oh, we're slowing this down by like 0.2 milliseconds. On paper, it doesn't seem like a bad idea but then you get in that like 0.2 millisecond situation and we lost by two kills god well i certainly didn't help the cause i had the most deaths on my team so yeah in the meantime though that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this world war ii video i also do want to go ahead and apologize if i just completely rambled all throughout the course of this video the one last thing that i want to mention though just going back to like the whole start of this uh war machine event i really hope that all starts at the same time across all platforms because i swear to god if i'm gonna be sitting here on youtube watching all the console players and call of duty youtubers that i watch send their use in the new era Soccer, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. I still just don't seem to understand why the update just can't come out for all platforms at the same time. Like, it just, it doesn't make sense to me why that's not a thing. But, I don't know. I guess we'll just see what happens. So anyways, though, guys, once again, I hope you all have enjoyed this World War II video. Definitely expect another one from me in the uh, coming week or so whenever this update goes live. I hope you all have enjoyed this World War II video once again. It's been Sore Rage. I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.